Question number three. Hey, Dr. Islam, are energy, energy drinks safe? Let me know in the comments if you drink energy drinks consistently, if you've had issues with that, or what your experience has been with energy drinks. Me, myself, I typically don't drink that because of all the side effects, so I do drink coffee. So we know that energy drinks are the second most common dairy su uh, daily supplement besides vitamins. There are so many people out there that use energy drinks, either get them more obviously more energy, get them energized, maybe get them more focused. And it's such a big industry in terms of hype, in terms of marketing, and to allow and to try to convince you that you need to have these drinks to function for an everyday life. There are two main types of energy drinks. There are those small little energy shops, you can just squish them. And there are those 16 ounce or 18 ounce energy drinks, like the monster drinks or drinks on the same rack as Coca-Cola and Sprite uh, as well. So what is kind of going on in there? Caffeine is obviously the main ingredient when it comes to these energy drinks. The vast majority of that drink that you're having is purely caffeine alone. So one shot of those energy shots can be up to 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine. You think that's a lot? Well, let's compare it. Those energy drinks can range from 70 to almost 300 milligrams of caffeine. All right, we know the numbers. Let's compare this to coffee. Guess how much coffee, guess how much caffeine is in coffee? Just about 100 milligrams. That's it. So one little shot of an energy drink can be more than double an eight ounce coffee. What about in Coke? Coke has about 35 milligrams of protein. So one eight ounce Coke compared to, or one 16 ounce Coke compared to a 16 ounce drink, you're almost getting three to four to five times the amount of caffeine from that. And so we wonder what are some of the side effects from that? The biggest issue that you know is that you can get really jacked up. You get, you can get shakes. Your heart can palpitate, go very, very fast. And because of that, you can get problems with your heart, maybe even heart failure as well. You can get a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleep problems, a lot of issues with your gut as well. I have so many patients who take energy drinks that have massive diarrhea, massive heartburn, massive belly pain because of all the all the caffeine that's in there. That caffeine will stimulate your gut, um, cause things to move faster. In addition to that, caffeine will open up that valve between the esophagus and stomach to cause worsening heartburn. But the other issue is that whenever you combine caf that those caffeine drinks or energy drinks with alcohol. And that's where we're seeing a lot of the problems occurring because what's gonna happen is that there's four, there's a four times more likely that if you combine the energy drinks with alcohol, that you're going to have, you're gonna binge drink and you're gonna have all the consequences from that, whether it's reckless driving, whether it's a DUI, whether it's you know driving without a seatbelt or driving drunk. There's so much evidence to suggest that the combination of an energy drink plus alcohol makes you do a lot more riskier behavior because you aren't feeling as sluggish Whenever you're having the energy drinks, do you actually drink more alcohol than what can you can than what you can typically typically tolerate? And I've had patients who come to me in liver failure because of the amount of alcohol that they drank in combination with those energy drinks. And lastly, obviously we know that a lot of these energy drinks have a lot of sugar as well, which can jack up your diabetes, mess up your health, and cause a lot of gut issues. And so I typically do not have energy drinks. For me, I've noticed that I've had really bad side effects from that. I would encourage you, if you are one of those that are using energy drinks to give you energy, try to find some other way, get some rest, try to get yourself off that addiction to hopefully live a healthier and happy life.